Someone needs to put the army painter in jail. They are making painting far too fun, far too easy, and far too accessible. If they carry on trying to make things as easy as they are, they're going to make painting tutorials obsolete and no longer needed. Frankly, I don't know what I'm going to do with all my free time. Now, joking aside, and to cut this video incredibly short, I'll just tell you right here, right now, I really, really, really like the new Fnatic paint range that the Army Painter are shortly going to be releasing. And I'm gonna be using it a lot going forwards. Now, if you do actually wanna hear more, keep watching the video and I will do a quick unboxing of the mega set from the Fnatic range, as well as actually gonna use the paint. And then finally, I'll tell you all the reasons I really like them. I do need to start with a couple of small disclaimers. Number one, I was sent this paint set free of charge. Number two, I have only painted a small set of miniatures, about 10 or so with this paint range, which could show you how good they are because I already love them with such a small test set or that I haven't quite tested them enough yet and found anything particularly negative to say. I just wanted to point that out, guys, because I think a lot of reviewers neglect to mention how much of a product they've actually used. I say 10 miniatures, you're still talking 10, 20 hours of painting, but bear that in mind as we go through my comments. Third and finally is if you are familiar with myself or the channel, I am heavily into speed painting. I use a lot of speed paint. So do consider that as a critique and comment on these paints because it's not my usual hunting ground. With you fully informed, let's crack open the box. The first thing to point out with the box is how full this sneaky little biscuit is. Genuinely, the box doesn't even close when you first get it because it's that full of stuff. Anyway, let's crack the lid off and see what we get inside. First, you're presented with the usual paper add-ins, what to do if you need customer service, and a sweet sticker set, which I am slowly, finally, finding homes for and pimping my painting stuff with. Under that is a free army painter painting guide. They include this in pretty much all of their boxed stuff. This is just the shiny new version. And I say this every single time I see one, it's surprisingly good. After that, what do we have here? This is new. This range comes with a fancy pants paint rack to store all of these new paints in. We'll build that up in a minute and see how it is. Finally, we are at the juicy stuff. Here are all the paints and there are plenty of them. It's hard to imagine that the complete set has four times this number of paints. What the heck is this? Am I missing some paints? Now somewhere in here is a free brush. Digging around, here it is. So this set, yeah, comes with one brush. It's the character brush, a nice little brush, and it gives you enough to get up and running in the set alone, as well as trying out one of the Army Painter's triangular brushes. All that is left is the actual paints themselves. 10 here, 20, 30, 40, 50. All here, looking good and accounted for, and that is a heck of a lot of new paints. Now from the box, we do need to get on with building this rack to store up all these little buttes. So let's have a crack at that and see how it looks. Just gonna go through and speed build this. I won't bore you with all of the details. The instructions are pretty self-explanatory and everything seems to only fit in one specific configuration or it's been carefully designed so slots go together nicely and when everything up, it all clicks into place. So that is now completely built and it's pretty good looking rack. It's gonna look nice on my tabletop, nice on my shelves, and it's gonna keep all of these paints tucked together nicely in some kind of army painter formation. The first thing to notice, it has a load of slots for brushes. In particular, it has a bunch of triangle ones which fit the army painter's wargamer brushes perfectly. So they've got a little place to slot in there. Having said that, the monster brush is triangular and way too big. So that's not gonna fit in there, but it's gonna be big round ones. It also fits a bunch of the Army Painter's Masterclass dry brushes and some of their round brushes as well. But it's versatile, guys. They're just little holes that you can put any brushes you have lying around, but it gives you somewhere to store a bunch neatly, tidily, and safely. 
Obviously, this is not all the black stores. It stores every single paint in the set. Let's just run through every single color very, very quickly that you get so you can be familiar with what to expect. There's two deep skin tones, one warm skin tone and one rose skin tone available. Two options from the ruddy brown, you get oak and fur brown. You get a single ochre and a single ancient stone light neutral. Then on to the greens with a vibrant green rainforest. You've got desaturated cool greens, just one of them, autumn sage, two olive green colours, necrotic flesh and the dark one. In similar in the deep greens, you get angel green and green skin, so a light and a dark. Again, two from the teals, a dark and a light. And once again, two from the turquoise colour range, dark and a light. Single deep green blue there and a single strong pale blue. Into the vivid blues, you get two, a lighter and a darker. And then a couple of desaturated choices, a light and a dark again. And then just one single vivid blue, which is bright sapphire. A single purples in this range, which is alien purple. And a single magenta, mage cast magenta. Single desaturated violet. It's almost brown, almost red mulled berry and then you get three reds in the cool reds triad a bright a medium and a deep sort of shadow color taking this into the pink offering you get pixie pink and wicked pink bright and light and bright i think only one orange available and that's lava orange two yellows a pale and a mid one there's a single offering from the warm gray and white which is actually just matte white and then moving all the way back up towards black you have the black and greys and there's three options you get a light gray a medium gray and black and something we're probably all fairly familiar with which is the wash range you get a dark one a strong one a soft one and then there's one skin one which is the strong skin shade and then this particular kit comes with three metallics you get the silver a gold and a bronze probably the most used three metallics and last but not least is three effect offerings a replacement to glistening blood which is true blood a new fresh rust effect and what something i've never seen before oozing vomit there we have it guys the complete rack fully laid out in all of its glory a nice little container for you if you need something to store paints on okay guys you've seen everything inside it's been ah! Jesus Christ. Okay, guys, you've seen everything inside. It's been sat alongside me the whole time anyway, so you could have kind of, kind of had a sneak peek, couldn't you? Let's start the review with what actually comes in this box. First and foremost, it is far from the 216, 200 plus paints you get in the complete set. However, I find honestly 50 paints is plentiful. Even with just 50 paints, it comes with great choices across the whole color range. And a lot of the paint groups come with a light and a dark, so you can always mix them together and fill in some of the gaps. While I am mentioning that, the smaller subset of paints in this particular box does mean you can't take full advantage of this six paint in each family group triad system that the army painter are pushing for with this fanatic range. Having said that, there is enough paints in here to give you an appreciation of it. I noticed it instantly using the paints that you had a light and a dark and it told you which family they lived in. You could see straight away which was the highlight and which was the base color. Speaking of the colors, I've not noticed anything particularly missing in this set. That's normally something I do in a box set. Within a few miniatures, I'm like, where is that desert yellow? It's in this set. Where is that dark gray? It's in this set. Those sorts of things you notice really quickly on using any paint box. And then this one, to this point in time, I have not noticed any color that's particularly missing. The metallics in the set are probably the three major colors you want, gold, silver, and bronze. And that gives you plenty enough to experiment with. I probably will pick up some more of those myself because it's nice to be able to paint any metal. The washers again give you a great sampling into what's available and it lets you pretty much dark down any of the colors. Things like the yellow and the red look a little bit dirty with the four washers that are available in this set. And it's something I've always picked up in the past is the specific colored washers to just tone and subtly darken down reds, yellows, blues and greens. Paint rack itself is a nice little addition. I actually thought it was going to be a little bit gimmicky, something I don't need. I've been painting for a long time. I have plenty of stories. Didn't really see a need for this. Having said that, it's nice to just keep all the paints tidily together. It looks great on the shelf and it's a really convenient way to carry the whole set downstairs to the kitchen table if I want to be a bit social and paint with friends or family. Let's get down to business guys. The last thing in the box, of course, is the paintbrush. Now, it's a fine brush. It gets you up and running. It's in the box. Off you go. Go and get some painting done. Having said that, not going to replace any of my fancier brushes. So that's everything in the box. But how about the 
actual paint overall, I'm going to have to make some assumptions that the rest of the set is of equal quality, equal usability. But having to use a bunch across the set that I've got, I would guess that the whole range is going to be pretty fun to use, easy to use and accessible for all. In my eyes, they have absolutely crushed their previous line, which was already kind of my go-to paints. I genuinely think I'll be throwing all of those out. I won't throw them out, I'll give them away. But I genuinely think they are now obsolete and I won't be using the old range. These are my boys going forwards. But on top of beating their own range, these have fast become my preferred paints of all the paints I own. I own plenty of different types and brands. But if I had to quickly just go and reach a colour without thinking about who may or may not have the best version, it's going to be the Fanatic range I rushed to grab. Wanted to give you a little demonstration of the coverage of these paints. So here I've got some bases which are primed in half black and half white. And I just wanted to go over a few of the colours, particularly reds, oranges and yellows, knowing they've previously been quite difficult colours to paint. They have weak pigments and don't get great coverage. But I'll also show you the pink going over the black and the white, as well as a blue. Uh, and what else should we have? Should we go for a green? And you can see the coverage, single coat, it goes on really smooth, really easily. And that single coat is more or less covering the black, let alone the white, which is popping out and being quite bright. While you can see on the bases, a second layer will do them great justice. If you're painting in the real world and painting miniatures and highlighting and shading them up, that single first base coat may well be enough that you can then add other layers on on top of it to build up the highlights and it's just going to look absolutely fantastic with just one to two coats. These paints both mix and thin really well with both the medium that comes in the complete set or you'll be able to buy separately but also just even with water they're holding their colour. Army Painter are saying the new range has three to seven times the pigment that their original range had which they already said was heavy pigmented. Heavy pigment? Heavy pigment? A load of pigment in it and I think I can tell using them these have a lot of the pigments and I think using the paints you can really tell that coverage is really strong. The next major factor, major improvement with this is kind of the labels of the bottle but it's what the labels now tell you which is what the paint range has set up. Biggest one being this idea of the triads. That's all the paints being split into families for example teals and reds and blacks and greys. Each one having six in the family and each one moving from light to dark in six almost equal steps. Now that is making it really easy for beginners. It's making the paint incredibly accessible but even people who've been painting a long time I still struggle sometimes with remembering which green is the highlight for which base colour green that I use. And I noticed it straight away on these bottles. It made it almost like painting by numbers. I found the highlight colour that I wanted to use and then I just found the same darker version in the family and applied that first and then highlighted it up using the lighter one. The labels are also borrowing from the speed paint we all worked on and that's taking a practical name and just giving you a rough idea of what this fantasy magical name actually means in the real world. For example, if we take the rainforest colour, who knows what that means, but we can look down the side and we can see it's a vivid yellowish green colour. Again, that's huge improvements for accessibility. Anybody with any sort of difficulty seeing colours can read these labels and get a general feel for what it's gonna look like. I've always been a massive fan of the Army Painters Metallics, probably some of my favorite metallics, and this new range does that justice too. I found them just the same as before, if not better. I do believe they changed the formula. They've obviously tried to make it better, so it doesn't really surprise me, but they've definitely built upon what I already consider the great family of metallics with the new range really taking it that step further. For the effects, I don't think it was difficult for them to improve on their previous one. Glistening Blood was fine. It was incredibly bright, incredibly glossy. It definitely stood out on a miniature, but I don't think it looked hyper realistic. The new True Blood in this set, and there's a second one, I do not remember the name in the complete set, but they look a little bit more realistic, a little bit less cartoony. Army Painter's original rust paint was just an orange. I had no understanding of what that was supposed to do or how you would use it any differently just to their orange. The new one has little bits in, little artifacts, some sort of globule stuff. I think that's the scientific name. And that just adds a texture and a realism to both the blood and the rust. Now the oozing vomit, I still have not used. So stay tuned for me finding something to use that on. I'm pretty excited to give that one a go too. But that basically sums up my feelings towards these paints. What a fantastic improvement. I am very excited for 2024. Hooray!
when I get to play with them more and you guys get to play with them too. I'm almost definitely going to be picking up the full set. Although the 50 is adequate and you can get on with something, I'm just that into these paints right here, right now. I need the full range, especially really to take advantage of the triad system doing half the work for me. I should add there is also a starter set that's going to be available too. So if you want to start even small and just dip your toe in the water, there's that. And of course they'll be out as individual bottles. So really you can just grab one. And I'd obviously recommend pick the worst color, the color you have the worst experience painting for me, yellow, white, Grab yourself a bottle of that and try that out. If you're impressed with that, you're going to be impressed with the rest. It's a great way of not spending a fortune before you really know how you feel about this range. But yeah, I guess that that's it for me. I am very surprised when I heard they were making a new set of acrylics, which I'm not normally behind. I like my speed paints, but this took me by surprise. It's the first time I used it, I was like, oh, that makes it fun. That makes it easy. And that makes me want to paint more. Let us know in the comments below if you're excited by this range, if you're going to be trying it out, or let us know if you're going to give it a miss and why you're going to give it a miss. And if you want us to film or cover on this, let us know as well. Thank you all ever so much for watching. Bye-bye. Uh,